CNN's Matthew Chance is in Poland at the site of the missile strike. And while some details remain murky, it's clear this incident marks one of the biggest tests of the NATO alliance in recent history. A Russian-made missile striking a NATO ally and setting the world on edge. But it now seems the explosion that killed two Polish farmers here was a tragic accident, not as feared, ordered by the Kremlin. The incident was likely caused by a Ukrainian air defense missile fired to defend Ukrainian territory against Russian cruise missile attacks. But let me be clear, this is not Ukraine's fault. Not Ukraine's fault because its military was defending against a barrage of Russian missiles, targeting essential infrastructure and killing civilians. Among the victims on Tuesday was this 69-year-old woman. She was visiting her husband's grave in Kiev when a piece of shrapnel tore through her body and killed her. As winter sets in, Russia is making Ukraine's civilians suffer with reckless abandon. But what happened here in Poland shows just how dangerous that is for the whole world too. This while Ukrainian officials are redoubling their request for more advanced air defence systems from the United States and Europe. They've also committed to cooperating with an investigation into what happened here and admitted their air defences were active in the area. But officials are clear. Russian President Vladimir Putin is responsible, dragging millions of Ukrainians and now a sleepy one-street Polish town into his war of choice. Well, Jake, teams of specialists from both Poland and the United States are still here trying to piece together the fragments of the missile that slammed into this isolated Polish village. But tonight concerns that incident in a NATO allied country, remember, that may spark a broader conflict are definitely showing signs mercifully of easing. Jake. All right, Matthew Chance in Poland for us. Thank you so much. While Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky insists the missile that fell in Poland was not Ukrainian, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg echoed U.S. intelligence earlier today. Take a listen. Our preliminary analysis suggests that the incident was likely caused by a Ukrainian air defense missile. CNN's Melissa Bell is in Brussels for us now. She spent the day at NATO headquarters. And Melissa, Poland is considering invoking Article 4 of the NATO treaty. That calls for consultation. It can be invoked whenever any member state feels threatened in any way. How is NATO responding? Well, the messaging from NATO to the day you heard there, the Secretary General was really in line with what President Biden had to say on his way out of the G20 summit when he left Bali, which is very quickly that whilst this investigation continues, this was not a missile fired by Russia, really trying to tone things down, uh, trying to stop uh, anyone from getting too excited about this. We all arrived at NATO headquarters this morning, Jake, hearing about the potential invoking of Article 4. Now, that is the beginning of consultations. It can then lead on to Article 5. That is the foundational principle of NATO. But, of course, what it means is that an attack on one country is an attack on all. And it would very quickly lead to the kind of escalation that everyone's been worried about ever since this invasion began and NATO stepped up to the plate to help Ukraine. So today was really at NATO headquarters about trying to calm everything down, notwithstanding what President Zelensky was going, was saying about what he believed has happened. And we've been hearing that messaging fairly uh, consistently. Consider also, Jake, that that extraordinary unity that we've seen on the part of NATO ever since this conflict began, that we couldn't have imagined a year ago, would be severely tested by actually having to cross any border. Also, Jake, things are actually going exactly as NATO would wish. NATO united, vindicated, Ukraine making progress on the ground, Russia on the back foot. This is a trajectory they don't want to have to mess with, Jake. 